My name is Craig Chamberlain and you're watching the Faster 8 series only on the PCM Tech Help Show. Write caching is a feature built into the Windows operating system that allows your system to temporary, ho temporarily hold data before writing it to the disk. As you can imagine, if you somehow lose power randomly, you can actually lose the data that's being held in the cache. So, for those who don't have power settings that are essential or efficient, or let's say um, reliable, then this probably isn't the best tweak for you. But it is a great one for a lot of people who are already plugged into their system and aren't worried about data loss or power outages. If you just right-click on Computer and you select Manage, we can bring up your Computer Management window. And on the left-hand side, we are interested in selecting the Device Manager. On the right-hand side, you can see your expansion here for your computer. I'm running on a virtual machine. And then you want to expand your Disk Drive section. And then uh, obviously your hard drive will be displayed here. So you want to right click on the drive that you're optimizing. Typically it's the one that has your operating system installed on. Then you want to select properties. And then we're going to go to the volumes tab. I'm sorry, the policies tab. And this is where we're actually going to configure write caching or not. And it does have all your warnings and information here to find out if you're actually in a good situation to enable it. For desktop PCs that are plugged in all the time, I think write caching is fine. I don't think there's any worry about enabling it, and it may already be enabled if Windows has detected you have a desktop PC. Laptops, it can be more concerning, because if you randomly lose power or if your battery just dies, uh, you can actually put your data at risk of being corrupted. And some people say turn off Windows write cache buffer flushing on the device will actually give you... Um, so <laughs> some advantage too for performance. I haven't really seen a significant amount that actually balances out the risk because uh, what it'll do, do, what it doesn't do is uh, flush out your buffer regularly and uh, this can actually cause major data loss if you enable it. So I actually don't recommend you enable that one, leave that one disabled. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna, like I said, check this box to enable the right caching on device, select OK, and then go ahead and close out the window and you may be prompted for a restart if you've made the change to your system. And that is it.